So in this video, we're going to see how do we bake twice inside of Substance Painter without going inside Photoshop and editing it. So let's look at that now. So if I come to my Bake Mesh Maps, uh, I'll get the same mesh. I'll uh, switch on Average Normals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bake out with the nice edges. Right? So ideally, the plan still goes the same. Right? Uh, the one that are nice edges the black mask comes and replaces that guy and the flat surfaces remain on the flat side so for that to happen or for that to work we still need to export it out at least once so in this case I'm going to export it out something like this and uh, I already have it in my previous file um, so in this case uh, let's say this one so I know this is the one that uh, I exported out and uh, I'll just rename this as good edges I only have this around here and I have good flats so let's see so once I export both of them out I'm just going to combine them inside of Substance Painter so I'm import both of these maps as a texture map and I'll come into this guy and I'll say uh, project import it to my project and that'll be my current normal map now for this to work I'm just going to cancel this out I'm going to come to my normal mixing and change this to replace once I change my normal mixing to replace, the next thing we'll do is come to my fill layer and add two fill layers. Same thing like Photoshop, I'll use this for the edges and I'll use this for the flats. So I'll come to my edges, I'll right click, go to properties tab, only use the normals, and I'll say, right, so these edges will come in this normal map. The important thing is you may not see it working correctly. To double check that, make sure you come to this option box, come to bitmap, and change this to an OpenGL normal map. Now, why OpenGL? Because when I created my project inside of Substance Painter, uh, I used OpenGL normal map format. If you guys use DirectX, make sure that you tick mark DirectX around this corner in that option box. I'll come to my flat zone, uh, switch on only normal with the Alt left click option, and I'll say that's a flat. Same thing. Come in here, open GL normal. So what you can see is right now, if I come to this normal option in my layers, you'll see both of these normal maps are actually uh, overlapping on top of each other. Now, how I want to read them as I want to read them as a normal blending mode, so that they will not overlap uh, each other like an overlay. Rather, they will just replace each other literally. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask now. Now, Substance Painter has created his own mask uh, to sort of adapt um, to these sort of situations. So what we do is we just come into this guy, um, let's say to the flats, and we say, uh, oh, let's come to edges first. Mm -hmm. right? So I'll come into this option box and uh, I'll click black mask or white mask, depending on what I want to do. And in my filters or my effects tab, I'll come in and add a filter. And my filter will come to this come all the way down here and I'll search for UV let me just type that out UV if I don't want to see it as a filter my bad uh, I think it should be as a generator and you should see it here at least this uh, UV border so I'm wrong it wasn't a filter rather it's a generator so in this UV border what you see now is um, you'll see that these other mask uh, that is big on the edge right? all you need to do is mask it out uh, with some bleeding and you just essentially want the edges to be uh, covered out right? Um, so right now you can see that this one looks kind of fine and I can right click copy mask and I can say edit uh, create a new black mask right click paste into mask what I was going to do is that's going to do the exact same thing only the difference is in this top one we're just going to invert this guy out so that gets us this one to look this way and then what we get is uh, we don't even need this guy in fact uh, we can even remove this uh, black mask and we can even have edges exactly the same way as it is uh, that was just for me to show you guys uh, how to control the edges right? uh, so we can just come to this guy and say all right the flats uh, which is similar to the picture i showed you guys right? so the flats are white the edges are black um, so same thing in Photoshop. 
the flats are white, the edges are black, and because we're masking around this area, right, we're masking the flats itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group this as a normal map, and uh, I'll put this on the topmost part of my layer. So this normal map, whatever I do, right, um, these guys will be uh, on the topmost part of my layer. Now, uh, ideally, what you want to do is you want to uh, get some other maps in here. So what people normally do is they just come to export texture, and then they export the texture out. Okay. And once they export the texture, what you'll see is um, you'll see something like this, and you'll see that this will be your uh, normal. Okay. Uh, and I don't know what's the weird color. Let me just double check what kind of color is that. Let's just see if I did it correctly. So when you get a map inside of Substance Painter, right, uh, we're just going to take this to uh, Texture Set Settings. I'm going to switch off this layer. And uh, of course, we're going to change the normal mixing to Combine now. And now we're going to bake everything else except our normal map. In this case, I'm just going to bake using average normals off, and I'm just going to bake this guy. Yeah. So that should give me uh, most of the maps that I want. Right? Uh, ideally, this should be correct. And this is how we can use uh, Substance Painter to, to merge, uh, just like we did in Photoshop. Export it out, get it back inside of Substance Painter again, you know, texture set settings, and then bake all the other guys from this normal map. Right? So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way is uh, people may not like this normal map, so in that case, uh, we can get the information from there, and then we come to replace, and then we have this normal map replacing the ones that are there, uh, these big mesh maps. But ideally, you want uh, the big mesh maps to work uh, to be there because uh, what if you have any smart material that uh, you may so want to apply? And uh, let's say, for example, you can apply some dirt on this guy, uh, it's going to put the dirt underneath. So that it reacts to the properties. In this case, this mask. Uh, we see that this mask will be applying to this guy. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what we're doing. So you can see the mask options around here. They need these maps. So I delete this should be fine. Of course, it's not the best example of this dot. But this should be okay. Alright. Uh, let's take another. Let's type machinery. So ideally, we want these guys underneath this. Right? So the normal map overlaps that guy. Uh, but it's it's much it's much more. It's usually recommended to to keep your maps uh, uh, in this texture set settings. Um, these are only for additional maps and not. Try ideally not the main maps that you want to have. So yeah, that's about it. And see you guys next video. Bye.